Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous Mother's Day. I am super excited I get to share my Mother's Day with you guys. Today we are going to be using some waffle flower items. Waffle flower invited me to share these with you. Um, these are part of their brand new May release and there is tons to this release and lots of inspiration over on the waffle flower blog if you want to head over there. But I get to play with this beautiful combo set. A couple of them actually. This is called the Spread Your Wings combo set. Um, it's a beautiful butterfly stamp set that's four by six. You also get the coordinating dies. And I love when you buy the combo, you get that little vinyl pouch. It's a two pocket pouch, so you can keep your stamp set separate from your dies, which is really nice. But this is your Spread Your Wings beautiful butterfly set. I love all the images in there. And then there's a few little butterfly trails for lefties and righties, which is great. Um, we'll be using that for our card. Also, we're going to be using the thank you combo. If you need a thank you stamp set, this is perfect. Um, it does have coordinating dies that will die cut out the two larger thank yous. There's tons of secondary sentiments that go before the thank you and then also after the thank you, which makes it really nice. So you could put uh, the big thank you and then put very much, or you could put the big thank you and you could put a huge right in front of it. So that's really nice. We're going to be using this today. So thank you to all you mothers out there. I know this year you've worked extra hard at home with home. I know homeschooling and it was tough. I have to tell you because because you're trying to work and clean the house and cook dinners and breakfasts and lunches because your family's been stuck with you. So, so kudos to all our mothers out there. Okay. This actually has the butterfly spread your wings combo set also has a stencil um, and I love that they keep the negative and the positive of the stencil because you could use both the positive you can actually use to create beautiful backgrounds just cover your butterfly this is the negative you can use it to color in your butterfly too all the butterflies that are in the stamp set are in the stencil so that makes it really nice. Um, although we're not going to be using the stencil today, I did want to share with you um, that there is a coordinating stencil that goes with the beautiful Spread Your Wing stamp set too. And, and the stamps, guys, they're sold separately too. So if you just want the stamp set, a Waffle, Flyer, a Waffle Flower gives that option also. There is also a brand new background panel. This one here is called the Outline Butterflies Panel Die. And it does have stitch detail, which I love. And I love that the outline of the background panel is thick. It's a little less than half an inch, but it's a little more than a quarter inch. It goes perfect for an A2 size card front. And if you wanted to pop it up, that's why I like that thicker border around the outside edge is because you can add foam adhesive. You don't have to use skinny itty bitty strips. So that makes it really nice. This is what it looks like behind some colored cardstock. And of course, I'll punch out the rest of the butterflies in a minute, but I did want to share with you just what it looked like um, behind some colored cardstock. And each of those butterflies you could use for more projects, which makes it really nice. For today, I'm also going to be using this paper pad, which I've never used before. It's a five and a half by eight and a half inch sample pack. There is a full size pack that has 36 sheets. Um, this happens to have 12 sheets of the rainbow pattern paper. It's called JJ's Rainbows. Um, and the weight on here is, is card based weight, guys. It's super heavy and you will love it. Um, it says 80 pound, but I know it's a cover weight because it is, is sturdy. But there's 12 sheets in here. All of them are different because it is a sample pack. Great thing is, is you can use um, one sheet for two panel front, card front panels or you can use one sheet for a card base. All you have to do is bring in your scoreboard. We're gonna do that right now, create a card base with it. Um, these are only $4 for these, so you can create 12 card bases for 12, or did I say $12 or $4? You can create 12 card bases for four bucks or you can create 24 card front panels for four bucks. I think that's a great deal. And then also the full size pad, um, is a great deal too. I'll list it down below. But you just score down the four and a quarter mark and you have a perfect card base. Um, the rainbow's already there for you, so you don't have to do much, which makes it really nice. Nice little background. But I love these soft, it's, they're not bold. I would say they're not pastel, but they're not bold. They're just real soft rainbow colors. And I like that. We're gonna be using this for our card bases today. 
Also, if you are a fan of waffle flower cover panels, um, all of the color, most all of the cover panels that waffle flower has coordinates with this paper pad too, which makes it nice. They line up beautifully behind um, the rainbows, giving a nice little effect. There are enamel dots that coordinate with the paper pad. It's called JJ's Rainbow Enamel Dots. And um, they coordinate beautifully with the colors, so it takes the guesswork out of your embellishing. <laughs> so that is what I get to play with today. There's more to the release, again, and I'll list it below. But let's make some thank you cards that are perfect for Mom's Day. I'm going to go ahead and add a piece of cardstock inside my Missy. This is Nina, 80 pound cardstock. Um, I was going through my color mediums and thinking I want to coordinate my butterflies with the, the pattern paper. So I thought zigs, but zigs just didn't have the right colors for me. Um, I thought my Copics, I thought color pencils, but I opted to use my Distress ink cubes because the colors are very vibrant and I think I can match the paper pad pretty well. So we're going to do some very light watercoloring with um, my mini Distress ink cubes. So when I do this with my mini ink cubes or any kind of watercoloring, I like to create a um, embossed background, especially for butterflies because you see all the detail area. If you want to separate the colors, um, heat embossing makes it so easy and they don't run together. After I added my Versamark ink, if Versamark stays um, sticky for a little while, I can go ahead and add some clear embossing powder over my butterflies. And again, this is going to make that black stand out. It's going to create a barrier so the colors don't blend together in all those sections. And um, makes it really easy, guys. <laughs> so there's my beautiful butterflies. We're going to do some coloring again with the Distress uh, Mini Ink Cubes. So I'm going to zoom in, grab my water brush, and I like to just take an acrylic block, do a little smushing with the Mini Ink Cubes, and then add my color. Um, the colors that I'm using are basically six colors. Um, we're going to start off with Spun Sugar. Now Spun Sugar, I wish I had a uh, worn lipstick. I think that would go perfect, um, but I didn't have it in my mini Distress Ink Cubes. So I used Spun Sugar, which was a little too light. So eventually we're going to bring back um, some picked raspberry to darken that pink up a little bit. But that was my pink. For my orange, we are going to use Spiced Marmalade. That was a perfect orange. And I'll add a little ink to my acrylic block and color that in. And you can see how um, I'm not adding a lot of water only because I want to keep those colors vibrant. And also, um, since I'm doing this on Nina cardstock, you want to make sure that you don't oversaturate your cardstock. Next for my yellow, a squeeze lemonade would probably work better, but I only had mustard seed, so I'm adding some mustard seed to my butterflies. And then after we have mustard seed, we're going to bring in our green. Green is actually, nope, this is where I went, went but my picked raspberry, I darkened that pink up a bit. And it worked out really good. It's a little darker than the rainbow, but it's not as light as my sponge sugar. <laughs> Okay, we're going to bring in our green. Green is Twisted Citron. We're going to add, I loved the bright colors with the black. You know how bright colors just pop when you have a black background? And I love the way this is turning out. Okay, we, I have Salty Ocean for my blue, which is really dark. So I'm actually diluting it quite a bit just so I can match it. I think if you had a... Um, tumble glass maybe it would work out better to coordinate with the blue but all I had was salty ocean so we're gonna work with what we got <laughs> and those are my butterflies I think they turned out fabulous okay now I'm basically gonna do the same exact thing with the smaller stamp sets um, the smaller butterflies in the stamp set for the outline and we're gonna heat emboss it with our black ink and then clear embossing powder. And then for the solid image, you can fill in those butterflies. Now, if you wanted to use your Distress ink cubes and your water brush and color those in, I think you could. But I'm gonna cheat and go a little bit faster using my Distress Oxide ink. I think it works just as well. And then I have, um, it, it gives great coverage. Although if you want to stamp with your Distress ink cubes, it doesn't give um, nice coverage. So Oxide's 
work better and I can use the same colors as I used for my uh, larger butterflies. So once all of my colors are added, we're going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies and die cut out each one of our butterflies. And I'm loving the way these look. I love, love the brightness of it. Just makes you smile. <laughs> we'll tape these down, run these through the die cutting machine, and so we are good to go. We're going to make three cards today. Now, next up, we're going to stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to grab the thank you combo set. And again, the thank you is available um, on its own, or you can buy the die separately, the stamp separately, or you can buy the combo, which is nice. I'm going to use both thank yous. You have one block letter thank you that is the outline. Then you have a beautiful scripty font um, thank you. And we're going to stamp both of these. I'm going to go ahead and ink up my thank yous, stamp them on some white card stock. My ink pad's drying a little bit, so I have to stamp a few times. And then since I had my clear embossing powder out, I'm gonna go ahead and um, add some clear embossing powder and we're gonna cover our image and then um, melt it. Just gonna make the, the larger thank you shiny and then I can also color in the thank you um, on the bottom with my water brush and my little mini distress ink cubes. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my acrylic block and my towel, my water brush, and we're gonna use the same colors that we used for the butterflies. I think it's gonna work out great. I'm just gonna add a little bit of ink from each of the cubes on my acrylic block to make it faster. And then we'll color in that outline, thank you, on the very bottom. And again, the cardstock that I'm using, I actually switched from my Nina to my Cougar Digital, which is a heavier weight. It doesn't blend too well, so you don't wanna um, wait too long to spread that color, but I think I can do it with this um, Thank You because the area is kind of small. But again, filling in the same colors. And once we are done, we're gonna grab our coordinating dies and I could add the Thank You on top and Thank You on bottom. Now we have our thank yous good to go. We're gonna go ahead and start our first card. I'm going to take one of the trails that are in the stamp set and stamp it just above the thank you. And then we're gonna add our medium sized butterfly. Um, I went ahead and stamped it with my black ink and it's basically gonna, my sentiment's gonna go here. And then I'm gonna add my butterfly right at the top of the stitched little trail. We're gonna take our thank you, flip it over, add foam adhesive behind it. And for my butterfly, I did add foam adhesive too. I just added it down the center. This way um, I can fluff up the wings. Um, I thought we needed a little more black since our outline of the butterfly was bold. So I'm just taking some black. Um, this is actually watercolor. Um, and I'm doing a little bit of light splattering with my black um, watercolor. You could use acrylic paint. If you, any kind of black medium you have for splattering would work perfect for this. Black acrylic paint will work great too. Um, just to add a little extra dotted black detail in the back. I think that's just gonna pull it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and reattach my butterfly at the end of the stitch trail here. We're gonna add our thank you, basically in the center towards the bottom. And then I'm gonna take the a huge block sentiment um, and we're gonna stamp it just before our thank you. Right, um, basically in the bottom left corner here. And I think that looks so fun. You don't have to do much to your cards, guys. The background does it for you, I think. <laughs> now that's one. We're gonna add bells and whistles in just a little bit. We're gonna move along to card number two. I used this pattern paper, scored it at the four and a quarter mark to create my card base. And again, if you don't want to stretch out your sample pack, you could cut this down um, in half and create two card front panels and add it to white card stock. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my, um, my, my butterfly panel here. This is called the Outline Butterflies Panel Die. I'm gonna add that to the front. And it doesn't line up beautifully with the stripes in the background, but I like the way it looks. I think it looks very dainty. <laughs> Now I wanted to add my other thank you to this card, but it wasn't standing out as much as I wanted it to, so I die cut out a black three inch circle. I think this is gonna make the thank you pop a little bit more. Um, and so 
I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind my thank you. This is going to go in the center of my three inch black circle. And you'll see that just that black is just going to make it just shine. <laughs> we'll remove the release paper and add this in the center. And then I did stamp a secondary sentiment for this card. I stamped the secondary sentiment that says more than words can say. I just love that. I stamped it on black cardstock, heat set it with white embossing powder, and now we're going to grab the paper trimmer and trim this down and just block it off. We're going to put this right in the center of the thank you. And I'm having a real hard time getting this straight. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put it at eye level to straighten it out. Sometimes it's better to lower it. But um, after I have that added, I did pop that up with foam adhesive. The more than words can say, I did add um, the black circle I actually adhered to my panel just with my tape runner. I didn't want to add too much dimension. I'm going to add three butterflies. Again, we're just adding one foam square to the center and fluffing up those wings. Now just to bring it all together, and I love the stitch detail of the, um, the butterfly trails in the stamp set. And so I thought we'd add some white faux stitching around the circle. Um, since we're not going to add any of the butterfly trails, I think it's going to coordinate all of our cards together. And I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> we'll add bells and whistles to this in just a minute. We're going to work on our next card. Next card, I have another one of our pattern papers. I just, again, scored it at the four and a quarter mark to create my card base. And then I have a panel that I created with white cardstock. This panel size is two and three quarter inches by four inches. And I want, I am, again, I love the dotted detail, the stitch detail. And so I'm gonna take the, there's a right and a left um, butterfly stitch trail. I believe this is the right one. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of black detail to our background paper. I'm making sure that all of the ends of the butterfly trail will fit behind my little square white panel. I didn't want any of those. Um, I wanted just the swirly ends to show, not the, the end of the swirlies. <laughs> so I finished stamping that with my black ink. I added my butterfly to my white panel here, and then we're going to stamp the sentiment that says um, you're the best. I think it's great on its own. We stamped it just below the butterfly here. And it's a, a good sized butterfly, so you don't have to really do much. I'm going to add a piece of fun foam behind this panel to add a little dimension. This is going to go in the center of our card base. I'm going to cover all those butterfly trail ends just so we see some swirlies. And basically, that finishes card number three. Pretty easy peasy, huh? Background, I think, does a lot of the work. Now, these are the three cards. I'm not going to do much. I am going to add some enamel dots to our first card here, to the butterfly. There's some circles on there. I'm just going to add the same yellow enamel dots to the circles for a little dimension there. And then I'm going to take my diamond stickles. It's like an iridescent glitter. And I'm going to go over all the butterflies in each one of these cards. So here we went in the different sections, kind of skipping like every other section for it to shine. This one, we, know we went over the solid butterflies for a little sparkle. And we did the same thing as our first card here with our last card. So those are my projects today, guys, using the brand new May release, using some of the items in the May release. Um, I hope you get a chance to check it out. Thank you for joining me. Have a fabulous rest of your Mother's Day. I hope you're keeping it crafty. We will see you again real soon, guys. Bye-bye.